motion, we're going to check out this Lawn Pro High Hitch for your riding lawnmower. This hitch actually comes with two positions. It's got the high hitch, which is more compatible to a traditional trailer, and then it's got the low hitch, which is going to be compatible for all your lawn dollies, spreaders, etc. This product, as of late June of 2022, is available on Amazon for about $50. I'll put the link in the description below. I've had this installed on this tractor for about two years now. I've used it multiple times. I use it to move my utility trailer around, and I also use it for the lawn attachments to help when I'm mulching and stuff. So uh, we'll do a quick overview of it, and then I'll give you some action shots of it. Okay, like I said, it actually has two mounting points. It's got the high one for your traditional trailer hitch. I've got a two-inch ball mounted on that. I use that to move my aluminum trailer around the yard. It also has this lower mounting point which is used for your traditional lawn tractor, trailers and pull behind spreaders, etc. that uses just a simple hitch pin. Installation of the hitch was pretty straightforward. You mount these two bars to the back of your tractor, then there's a single pin that holds the bar in here, and then one bolt that goes into where your uh, tow attachment already is on the tractor. It was really straightforward. The only thing that was kind of tricky were the backs of these bolts are quite difficult to reach. I ended up actually taping the bolt to the back of the uh, wrench and putting the wrench under there so I could hold it long enough to get that together. Once I got the nut on there, then I was able to do it just fine. Uh, again, it was still pretty tricky. There's not a lot of room to move behind there, but uh, it wasn't that bad to get done. The hitch itself, when it comes to you, it's coated with a fairly good uh, black metal coating on it. You can actually see quite a few scratches on mine down here around where the pin is and then up around the ball head where it's been nicked. Thankfully it's aluminum so even though the paint has scraped off there's no rust on it uh, because it's also aluminum it's very lightweight. It did come with two sets of these bars that you install here on the side and that's specific to your application so when you get it you have to kind of figure out you know how far back your bottom hitch plate is and then you choose the, the bar that's appropriate for your application. Now in my case, I went with the shorter ones and it worked out just perfect. One thing I do like about this a lot is that the height of this is, is actually really quite nice. Um, when you look at it on the back of the tractor, it seems like it's pretty high, but it's almost in perfect alignment with my utility trailer. So when I do have the trailer hooked up to it, it's quite level. So I'll demonstrate you know, hooking some attachments up to it here in a little bit. So to hook up your lawn tow attachments to the bottom, they typically have a pin like this and a cotter pin. Simply overlap that, drop the pin in there, and then there's a hole in the bottom of that larger pin, and you slip that cotter pin in there to keep it from coming out. And that's all there is to it, easy peasy. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode. If you need a hitch for your lawn tractor, this is a great product. I highly recommend it. I've probably towed everything with a tongue weight up to up to and over 100 pounds, probably six, 700 pounds on the trailer. No problems at all. No flex, no bending. It's been a great hitch. I've used it a lot. I highly recommend that product. Hey, if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up and think about subscribing to the channel. I do tool reviews, home improvements. I'm starting with a new section on vehicles and more. Feel free to check that stuff out. There's a lot of great content out there. To all my brothers and sisters serving in harm's way around the world, you're always in my thoughts. Be safe out there. Until next time, everybody.